All right, welcome back, guys. In today's question, we're going to be solving a problem from chapter three up here in Johnson textbook, which was asked by one of you guys. So we have a winch puller AB that is used to straighten a fence post, and we know that the tension in the cable BC is 1,040 newton, and we and the length D is 1.9 meter. So we know D in the question here is 1.9 meter and we need to determine the moment of the force exerted by the cable at c about point d and the question is asking to do this by resolving the force into horizontal and vertical components and there are two conditions one condition is that the tension is applying at point c so if we consider this the tension so we need to find the moment of this force at point c and the next one is to if we have this tension applying at point E and all we need to do is to find a moment of this tension about point D. So there is a big message in this question which we covered in the 2D shortcut that we have previously and that message is that for finding the moment we have R cross F and in here our R will be the distance vector and as we discussed in the previous video our R would be any line that connects the point that we are finding the moment about which is in this question is point d to the line of the action of the force so basically for finding the moment if this is our r or if this is our r so the line of action of the force t is what i'm showing in green so this will be the line of action of the force t and if you want to find the moment for finding the r or distance vector any line that connects the point d to line of action would give us the same answer and now the question is which r do we choose uh so basically we can take whatever r we want but in but we go with the r that is easiest for us to find this would be more important in 3d questions when we have a tension in the cable but we are in three dimensional and it will be a little bit trickier to find the r so we go with the r that is the easiest for us we're going to get to that in the next videos in the channel but like here the whole point of this question is to show that regardless of doing the moment about point c or point e we have to get the same moment and that's the proof for that this question has so let's just clean up and start with finding the moment using our 2d shortcut that we have and let's figure out the moment and at the end we can compare if we get the uh, same thing or no which we should okay so we have the let's start with the when the t is applying at c and what we do for our 2d shortcut is we break down our forces in x and y component and this is our d and we have a right triangle here which i'm showing in green so we have this right triangle here uh, which we know the one side is 0.875 and the base would be 1.9 plus 0.2 which is 2.1 and based on the pythagorean theorem we can find the hypotenuse so there are multiple ways to find the slope of this uh, to find the slope of line ac and if you want to do that the slope of line ac or ec will be let's call it ec the slope of ec will be what we have 0 0.875 divided by 2.1 or 5 divided by 12. so now that we have the slope of this this will be 5 this will be 12 and based on the pythagorean theorem the hypotenuse will be 13. and now that we have the slope we are good to find our tx and ty so if we call this angle alpha this angle over here will be alpha 2 and if we want to find the tx we simply have t times cosine of alpha and cosine of alpha will be 12 over 13 and from the question we know t is 1040 newton and from here we can find tx which will be 960 newton same for the ty we'll have uh, t times sine of alpha and regarding the directions let's call this our positive direction so if that's the case this will be negative this will be negative this will be negative 
that shows this is the direction for tx and ty downward let's consider this our positive side so we'll have minus t times this time the sine of alpha which will be 5 over 13 and again t is 1040 and this would give us minus 400 and it will be downward so we found the x and y component of the force and let's start to find the moment of let's find the moment of the force t about point d counterclockwise positive and let's see what moment do we have so using our 2d shortcut obviously let's start with the tx so we'll see that the moment of tx is counterclockwise so it will be a positive moment so we'll have tx times so we'll have tx times the distance that we have which is again the distance we are looking for is the distance from d to here or from d to the line of action which is 0.875 and also we have the moment of ty and as we can see ty is clockwise so it will be a negative moment and the distance this time will be what we have from here to here which is 0.2 equals 0 and one thing that we need to have in mind is we put the magnitude of tx and ty in here we don't need to apply the signs because we already counted for the the signs in the direction of moment so we don't need to put negative sign in here as uh, since we called the counterclockwise moment positive so we already accounted for the direction of the force and from here we can find the moment we know what's tx we know what's ty and if we calculate this we get 760 newton meter and that's for the first part of the question where it is applying at point c and let's consider to so we get 760 newton meter for that and if we have the t applying at point e this time we'll have the same t here and obviously our tx and ty will be the same we just have a different moment so looking at this we'll see that tx won't make any moment about point d see they are in the same line and the only moment that we have is the moment of ty and our distance would be 1.9 and obviously the moment is counterclockwise to positive and uh, in the previous part we get a positive sign we got a positive sign which shows the moment was counterclockwise so let's do the moment of d this time when the t is applying at point e and as i mentioned we only have the moment of t by and the distance would be from d to here which is 1.9 so we have a counterclockwise moment so we have a positive moment and the distance will be 1.9 ty was 400 and if we calculate this we'll see that we get the same number we have the same moment so that's that's exactly what we expected but the but it shows the the choose of right force because basically we are free to pick any force in here any law any point that we consider in here we get the same thing but as you can see when we find apply that force and when we consider our r from point d to point e we can cancel out the moment of tx and it's just a shorter way to find the moment but actually both work it doesn't make that much of a difference but why not when we can cancel out one of them it's better to go with the the best point as we are free to go on any point in here i mean on the line of the action of the force and that would be all for this question so as i said earlier this was requested by one of you guys to be solved uh, let me know if you guys have any question about it feel free to put it in the comment section i'd be happy to help um please make sure to subscribe to the channel it's gonna help us to grow the channel faster and reach out to more students you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video